ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we are checking out a collaboration beer that was sent in the beer mail package from my buddy Matt. Uh, this is Half Acre Brewing Company out of Chicago and Maine Beer Company from Maine. This is Sapping Mammoth IPA. Um, it does not say anywhere on this bottle what the ABV of this beer is, which is strange to me. Uh, but I looked it up and Beer Advocate says it's 7%. Um, I checked Rate Beer. They didn't have any information on it. Um, and there was actually, I think, only 13 reviews on Rate Beer. Um, Beer Advocate had a couple more. There was people that were just grading it without giving any kind of descriptions, which is weird, by the way. I don't know why Beer Advocate does that. They just allow people to go and put whatever number they want for a beer, and there's no explanation for it. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. Um, but according to that site, it's 7%. Um, I've never had a main beer before. I'm very much looking forward to this, even though it's not, I guess, technically a main beer. It's a collaboration. Um, I've never heard of Half Acre Brewing. Um, in Chicago. I don't know their story. I don't know what they're known for. I don't know anything about them. So I'm, I'm actually really stoked <laughs> to try this beer. Um, the label on this is cool too. There's like a, I don't know what this guy is. It's like a, a headless, like look kind of like a, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe that. Like a wizardish kind of a caveman looking just giant monster. Um, and it's funny because main beers, uh, they're known, their bottles are known. They're, I think their labels are just solid white. They're very clean looking and it just has like text on it. And on the side of this, it says, uh, Maine is known um, for their, what does it say? Brewing good beer, having a good time. But when it comes to label designs, uh, we're complete opposite. We are Spartan, where Half Acre is bold. Um, we and Half Acre brewed a beer, each other's brewery, blah, blah, blah. We thought it'd be cool to design each other's label, so. Uh, this beer was actually brewed at Maine Beer Company, but the label was made by Half Acre, so that's why it has this cool looking uh, <laughs> label on it. Um, yeah, this is a 16, what is this, a 16 ounce, 0.9, whatever um, bottle. It's a, it's smaller than your typical bomber, I think, um, but it's it's got the same bottle design as like Russian River does with their Pliny, so it's a cool looking bottle, very clean looking, so without any further ado. I don't know anything about this beer. I'm not sure what to expect. Um, but this cap, holy crap, I can smell that already. I don't know if this camera's gonna focus. It probably won't. It's a main, a main beer company cap, so that's gonna get saved. It says do what's right. And I think the right thing to do is drink this beer. So um, I gotta thank Matt again for sending this. I'm really, really looking forward to this. There's no date on this bottle, but uh, when he sent this, he had said this is really fresh, so. And I think I can tell by just the way that it smells, just pouring it. So uh, up to the light, this pour is, uh, I mean, it is, I think there's a chill haze on there. Uh, I mean, I can see my finger on the other side of the glass, but it's it's definitely not, uh, not clear. It's a very uh, orangey, like juicy looking tangerine color. It looks absolutely amazing in the glass. Uh, bright white head, about a finger, uh, lots of tiny little bubbles streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Carbonation's great on that. Um, the On the head, the outside of the glass, um, really, really tight. There's some big soapy bubbles in the middle, um, but just an outstanding looking beer. So let's get the, uh, the old nose on this one. Ooh, yeah, that's uh, just huge citrus up front. <laughs> it's, this is very juicy smelling. Uh, grapefruit, tangerines, oranges. This is very reminiscent of a uh, West Coast style smelling IPA, in my opinion. This is exactly, <laughs> I love the way this beer smells. This is exactly what I like out of IPAs. 7%, there's no alcohol in the nose. I don't think you'd expect any for a 7% beer. But lots of juicy grapefruit, uh, citrus, orange, tangerine, uh, maybe some melons too. There's sweet, uh, sweet hops in there. Yeah, like melons. Um, what else is in there? Sweet smelling. I can't. I can't put my. I can't put my nose on exactly what that is. But man, this beer smells great. I'm looking forward to digging in. So Matt, thank you, sir. Cheers. Ooh, 
yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, big grapefruit bitterness right at the front of the tongue. Um, and then you get the rest of the citrus, uh, oranges, tangerines. Um, like I said, you get like that sweet melon. Maybe maybe it's pineapple that I'm tasting. Um, the bitterness lingers in the middle of the mouth, finishes nice and clean and dry. Um, but the bitterness just stays on the back of your tongue real nice. Um, this is very reminiscent of a West Coast IPA. There's some pine in there. Uh, definite dankness. Um, there's something sweet though. It's almost, <laughs> this sounds really weird, but I was shopping today um, and I had to buy basil and I was smelling the basil just because a lot of it didn't look very good. Um, there's almost like a herbaceous like basil um, note in there on the, on the, the taste of this beer, which is great. The taste uh, definitely follows the nose. This is very citrus fruit forward. Um, great bitterness. Really, really easy drinking for what we're, I'm guessing, is a 7% beer. Um, that's what Beer Advocate says. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, I mean, you could easily sit, I could easily sit and drink this all freaking day long. This is great. That sweetness, too. Um, like middle of the mouth on the finish kind of balances those bitter hops nicely. Um, that beer is really well balanced. Man, that is delicious. Main Beer Company and Half Acre, you guys got it going on. This is a heck of a collaboration. Um, as far as a grade for this, this is a solid A for me. I mean, 95, easy. This is a great, great beer. Um, and it's leaving awesome lacing on the glass, too. That's great. Matt, seriously, thank you so much for sending this. This is fantastic. This is a really, really good beer. I like that a lot. I don't know, uh, I mean, I know Maine, Maine brewed this one. I don't know what the avail uh, availability <laughs> of this beer is, but if you can get your hands on this, for sure, check it out. Trade for it. Um, beer Advocate said it was only brewed the one time. I don't know. There's no date on this bottle, so I don't know when it was brewed. So I don't know if it would still be sitting around on the shelves anywhere. I doubt it. Um, but if you can get your hands on this one, I definitely recommend checking this one out. So I'm going to wrap this one up. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thanks for the comments. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for sharing these videos. If you've had uh, this collaboration, if you've had Sapping Mammoth, I like Sapping too now that we're talking about it. Now that I'm thinking about it, like that piney kind of resinous, like sappy name <laughs> is awesome. If you've had this, let me know what you think. I think it's great. Good stuff. So uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.